what's up guys welcome back to yet another tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to build a rgb key light which you can use in your photography project lighting your room and many other uses this key light will be controlled by a rotary encoder and powered by arduino nano and of course it's rechargeable to prove how good it is i use it for my last thumbnail and as you can see it's really helped me to create that vibe i wanted in my picture Without further explain, let me show you how to build this RGB key light. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you. For this project, I use LED RGB string WS2812B which is addressable and you can power it up with 5 volt. Of course, on the other hand, I used a Arduino Nano and a rotary encoder module. For code, I set the needed pin for rotary encoder and RGB string, then I simply add the RGB moves which I wanted. You can access the code by using the link in the description down below. Then in the last step, I choose my board type, which is in my case is Arduino Nano Old Bootloader, and it's ready to go. As you can see, by changing the rotary encoder direction, the RGB color will be changed and it will be triggered by pressing the rotary encoder switch. In a schematic, we will connect D2 and D3 of Arduino Nano to S1 and S2 of Rotary Encoder, which will be controlled the Rotary Encoder direction. And in the other hand, pin D4 of Arduino Nano will be connected to key switch of Rotary. Then for powering up both RGB string and Rotary Encoder, I use 5V pin and GND of Arduino Nano. At this step, for make the result more satisfying, I used a capacitive touch module, which will be used instead of the key switch of rotary encoder. And as you can see, it works really fine and make the result better. In a schematic, I supply the module with 5V and then I simply connect the signal pin of touch module to D4 of Arduino Nano instead of the rotary encoder switch. For make this device portable, I will be using TP4056 module to charge the rechargeable battery which I will be using in future. I got the Type-C version which is protected and the simple one with micro USB which I will be using the protected one. In a schematic you just need simply connect the B plus and B minus to your battery and of course out minus and out plus to your Arduino Nano.
This RGB string beside the 5V and GND pin add a D out and D in pin, which help us to connect the cut it out string part together. Alright, at this step I put all the parts together and it works fine. And then I add some extra parts to make it looks better. Alright, and that's it for our RGB key light project and it's ready. And now you can use it for all your photography project and any situation which you need a special or custom light setup. Alright guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope it's be useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. And like always, see you guys in the next tutorial.